what is up guys welcome back to the channel i'm walking to my garage right now so that's why it looks like this and it is gloomy outside in uh sunny dallas no i'm just kidding but it has been really really cold <laughs> i love this weather though so if you guys like the video please smash that like button also please subscribe please consider subscribing this channel uploads twice a week so if you guys like my videos you guys get to see me twice a week also if you guys see anything that i missed all during this uh, installation i'm not the first person that's ever done this this has been done before but i will say i am probably the only person on the internet with uh, a how-to video of how to do this there is a uh, one post in the y33 pages that tells you what you need and stuff like that um i based it off of that and i did it i completed it and everything's working um I had to figure some things out myself because obviously reading words is not as easy as seeing someone do it. I'm a hands-on person. I like to I like to watch people do things and I, that's how I learn. So now that I've done it, I can explain it to you guys. I haven't found a video of how to do this. So I hope what I'm uploading right now helps someone else out. It would definitely help me out if this video was in existence before today. So if I miss anything, or if you know a way to do anything better, hey, I'm just gonna be improving this car. This is my project car, so leave a comment down below. And let's get started. For my car, it is a 1999. So I went from the 99 to 2001 trunk, which is supposed to be not these tail lights, but just has a little reverse light right here on each side um, so this video is going to be how to switch it from a 99 to 2001 to a 97 to 98 rear end so it's going to change it to these tail lights i love the big tail lights so i swapped it and i just so happen to have a maroon q45 98 q45 in the junkyard next to me it is impossible to find the uh these cars in junkyards people don't like to get rid of them and they usually just keep them parked instead of junking them or selling them. It's really hard to find them. So this video is gonna be how to switch it from the newer trunk to the older trunk. If you're switching it from this trunk to the new one, it's a lot easier. The newer trunk is heavier. Uh, this one's lighter. You'll see how fast this one opens. So that watch. And it just swings open. I left everything exposed, like the wires and stuff like that, so you guys can see. It is gonna be a little hard to see. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try to get my phone out. Yeah, it's just a bunch of wires. I'm gonna go over all the colors and stuff of what wires you need. Before I get started with confusing stuff with the wires, I'm gonna tell you the parts that you need. So the parts that you're gonna need, remember this is from a 99 to 2001, to the 97 and 98 trunk. So the latch right here, this locking latch, that is the new one. That's the 99 to 2001 trunk latch. Same thing down here, the self-closing. Uh, I still have it, so this is from the 99 to 2001. The, don't forget to switch your locking key mechanism. And let's see what else. I took the wiring harness from the, uh, where is it at? That's the wiring harness from the 97, 98 trunk. And all I did was I cut off the, the wires to the turn signal and the reverse lights. See so, like there used to be wires here that extended to the, the outside tail light, which is the passenger side. And then there was another connection somewhere else, else on this one. Oh, it's right here. So really, whenever you see the harness, you'll see it um, because the 99 and 2001 harness is too short to go to the outside tail lights now, or these, because the reverse lights are closer in. So you do have to cut off, if you need to, just this back section of the wiring harness, or like the upper part. You can cut that off if you don't want to take the whole harness. I just took the whole harness just in case, but yeah, it's just the, the inner lights part. That's what you're gonna have to cut off. And you're gonna have to rewire it yourself. Um, 
you do not need to get, grab the arms. Me personally, since the, the 2001, I'm just, okay. I'm just gonna say generation one and generation two. Uh, gen one being the 97, 98, gen two being the two, 99 to 2001. So the gen two arms are stronger and I like that. So I just left these. I did not grab the gen one ones. Um, other than that, the locking rod, you're gonna take it off and you're gonna use the gen one locking rod. This rod right here. Leave that. You're gonna wanna use your, your existing gen two locking hole and your latch. Um, if you have LED tail lights, like the bulbs, these are these inner ones, the reverse lights are different sized bulbs. So they're, you're gonna have to buy new ones. I found that out the hard way, but the license plate lights are the same. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Also, so those are the parts that you need to change the locking mechanism. You're gonna have to take off these, or the nuts, these nuts. And <laughs> these nuts. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I need to get my flashlight out. And you're gonna have to take off the gold ones. So there's a gold one right here. And there's a gold one right uh, here. And then these two nuts around the locking mechanism, that's what you need to take off to remove it. Also, if you look at it, I have the extra one right here. So, this is what the locking mechanism looks like. Um, before you can remove it, you need to take off, you need to get a, like a flathead. And these are little uh, clamps or like, um, I'm going blank right now. <laughs> but you need to get a screwdriver and it's gonna release this plastic piece. And it's just a cap that goes over it. You need to release that. And then for the, the locking arm, these, uh, these just swing out around and stuff like that. So just flick it off the, the rod and then you're good. And then this is one connector. And that's it for the locking mechanism. To get the locking mechanism out, you're gonna have to take off those four nuts that I told you about. And the, the inner tail light is gonna be stuck with like um, OEM glue. I don't know what else to call it. It's just glue. It's really sticky. So just pry it really carefully and really slowly. It's gonna come off. Those are all the nuts that you need to take off. You only need to do this side because the locking mechanism is only on this side. You do not need to take off that light. To take off from the generation two, you're gonna have to take off these two still. You're gonna have to take this one off. You're gonna have to do the same thing to this side. So these three need to come off. And there's gonna be a nut right here. There's gonna be a nut right there, which you have to take off anyways for the light. And same thing on the other side, one right here. And the same thing for the tail light. But the only difference on the Gen 2 is in this like little back spot, there's gonna be nuts right there. They're not on the Generation 1, but there's gonna be four of them. So there's gonna be two, and then there's gonna be two on the other side. So it's four across. So four. All these nuts, all those nuts, and all the ones on the edges have to come off. And even then, it's not gonna release the whole thing. But you're just gonna have to be able to lift it up just enough uh, for the locking mechanism to slide out. So that's how you get, get that out. Um, you do not have to do anything down here, really. I had taken it apart because I, the way that I read the forum, it was wrong and yeah, so same locking mechanism down here. The wires and stuff down here are the same. All these wires are the same. All right, so now with the, uh, the wiring, the confusing part. All right, so the generation two trunk comes with a black wire and a blue wire, that's it. Now I was messing around with wires to see what goes to what, don't judge my wiring. Uh, my great buddy, he's a better electrician than I am. Uh, we figured this out together. <laughs> so the blue and the black are from the 99 or the generation two. Uh, so those can stay the same. The ones that you get new with the generation one is gonna be a black red 
and the green green wire. So black and red is going to be your blinker. Green is going to be your constant. So it's always on when your headlights are on. And so I wire those. Same same colors on this side too. It's a green white, and this is just a green. But green is one, which is your constant. Red and black, which is on both sides, is gonna be your brakes. So if you follow the lines down, they come out to right here, where is the, the brake light. And you see that blue and red wire? That is your brake lights. Kinda easy to remember because they're red. And then, what's the other one? The green, yeah, the green and red is gonna be your constant power, all right? So, blue and red, brake lights, green and red, constant power. So, constant power, green to green, red to red is an easier way to remember it. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, like, all the other wires go to the same spot. I broke all the clips right here, because you kind of have to, but, well, you have to if you want like free movement of wires and stuff because it gets pretty uh, tight up here. It gets uncomfortable working up here. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then after that, everything's uh, wired up. Make sure you do extra slack here because there's a plastic panel that goes right here. And I did that so that way I can push all this against the wall. And I zip tied it all right here because I'm dumb. Well, also, it's my first time doing this. Um, and no one told me, so I re zip tied it across the arms so and now it looks clean and original. Clean ish. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is still a Gen 2 locking mechanism. So it'll still self close. So yeah, still got the self closing. I'm gonna turn on the lights right now so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, this light's on. It was a headache originally to uh, to do all this stuff, especially because me and my buddy we were uh, we were hungry. Our phones were dead, so we had no like research material. We did everything by our own like basic knowledge of mechanics and stuff and wiring. Putting the trunk on was pretty easy. It probably took us like 20 minutes to take it off from the old unit. We were hungry. It was tired. We were tired. It was pretty late. It we finished at like midnight. We started at like seven. And it started raining, so we had to move the car around because we were working outside. And then we had to move it to the garage around the building. And yeah, it was just a big headache. And uh, now I'm glad that it's done because I love this rear end. Like, look at that. I got kind of lucky because the maroon is a little dark. So it kind of blends in. As long as it's dark outside, you could barely kind of notice it. Notice it. Nighttime, you're definitely not gonna notice it, but during the daytime, as you can tell, it's like a brown, red color. And then, if you notice, I also had to replace the door handle when I bought this car. But I got it from the same car. <laughs> I need to get a quote from a car paint shop and see how much they'll charge to paint the trunk and the door handle. I wanna paint the whole car, but I don't got that kind of money right now. Also, you'll notice that I uh, gave up halfway through my window tint removal. <laughs> uh, let's see, kind of like zigzags right here. I don't know what was gonna show up, but I did the whole centerpiece. There's just like the sides right here now. Same thing on the other side. You can kind of see it. Kind of goes right here. But I need to do that. I need to do the paint correction still because the paints, the paint could be safe. The bumper cannot be saved. I mean, I probably cut that piece off. Just this goes right there. The last owner um, got it stuck on a curb or something or a rock. And then, also, when you're doing the trunk conversion, I recommend getting the same taillights that came with the trunk if you can. 
Unfortunately, when I went to go grab the trunk, there was someone else pulling parts off of the car in the junkyard and they took the tail lights and they didn't want to give them to me. So as you can see, I don't know if it'll show up on camera. You can tell right here, this is a lighter red and the edge is darker. So that kind of bugs me, but I'll probably get these, once I get the trunk painted, I'll probably take the tail lights too and get them painted black right here or something. I don't know. I think I've seen one car on uh, Google with that. I think I liked it. So I'm gonna get the edges painted black to be matched. And then I need to get the antenna fixed because these things never freaking work. It is 100% stock right now. The carpet's still not in it. Um, if you want to count LEDs as aftermarket, then yeah, sure, it's modified. But <laughs> yeah, I just, I need to clean the carpet. I was gonna clean it this weekend, but it was raining and I just wanted to get the trunk done and the carpet needs to dry anyways and it wouldn't dry with the rain. So I'll do that next weekend and then hopefully I can put the carpet in the week after so that it has time to dry. And then we can uh, start fixing things because there's a lot wrong with this thing. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. Um, if there is anything I missed, put it in the comments and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I hope today's video helped you guys out. It would have definitely helped me out because it would have saved me probably like an hour or so, especially if I was doing this by myself. With that being said, ride safe. I still do motorcycle stuff. And as always, keep it cruising. See you guys next time. And there she comes. Heart that pounds like a stereo.